Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Google Chrome version 135 has rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 1st of April. And if you want to double check, you have this latest release. As always, we head to our main menu, Help, about Google Chrome. Version and build is now sitting on 135.0.7049.41 or 42 if you're running Windows and Mac. And that will be 0.52 if you're using the browser on Linux. So 41, 42, 52, um, all those point releases on version 135 means your browser is fully patched and up to date. Now, first of all, just focusing on the security fixes that have rolled out. We get 14 security fixes that are rolling out with this latest release. And these will also be our weekly Google Chrome security fixes. So all the other Chromium-based web browsers will also start getting uh, more or less the same security patches throughout the rest of this week. And out of the 14 vulnerabilities that have been addressed, we have one high severity, which is listed as use after free in navigation. And then the rest are all mediums and lows. And thankfully, once again, there are no critical vulnerabilities or any exploits, zero days that have been exploited in the wild. So 14 security fixes have rolled out uh, in total with this latest release. Now, even above the security fixes that have rolled out, Google is focusing on security and privacy enhancements when it comes to uh, tweaks and adjustments they've made with this latest version upgrade. And these will include improvements in detecting and mitigating online scams through the use of on-device large language models, LLMs. And they will also be strengthening password form detection with client-side machine learning. So a bit of machine learning going on um, with this version upgrade all taking place under the hood. And there are also updates to how Chrome handles third-party cookies in the new incognito window, the private browsing window, aimed at improving user privacy according to Google and the Chrome platform status, with incognito mode now blocking all third-party cookies. So that's a bit of a privacy enhancement if you are using the private browsing window. And then I'm just going to mention the next because it applies to Android, Chrome on Android, but I thought this was significant enough just to mention where there is now support for edge-to-edge -edge layout, which extends content behind the navigation bar. So that gives you a little bit more real estate on your Android device if you are using Google Chrome on that platform. Now those are the under the hood security and privacy enhancements um, according to the Chrome platform status that have rolled out with version 135. And something else I did notice, which I did mention a couple of days ago when I posted the early stable video, is we now get a downloads button for the toolbar. So if we head to customize Chrome, we now get a new downloads button. And the nice thing about the downloads button is it's always visible on your toolbar. So before this change, the downloads button would only appear when you were downloading something. Now, the downloads button is always visible. And if you click on that, it takes you over to your download history. And I actually think that's a small yet significant little improvement and um, that has made its way into this latest release. And if you don't want it on your toolbar, you can just unpin and you can head back to customize and you get the idea. You can turn that on and off through your customized Chrome toolbar options. And then I know I'm going to get asked one or two questions regarding um, the extensions and the deprecation of MV2 extensions with this version upgrade. So I have taken a look and at this stage, um, uBlock Origin, which is MV2 extension, is still working and I've had no uh, messages or banners popping up after upgrading. So it seems at this stage, at least in my part of the world, that MV2 and uBlock Origin extensions are still fine with this latest release. So not too many front-facing features rolling out with version 135. I would consider this to be a light release with, as mentioned, the main focus according to the Chrome platform status is on security and, and privacy enhancements. And we are expecting Brave and Edge 
to roll out um, later this week and throughout the course of this week. And obviously when those version upgrades uh, roll out, I'll try and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.